Good morning, everyone. I'm doing this video for a channel called Ash. He's out there recording police in the UK. He records with the channel called The Real North Audits, who's a real good channel as well. Make sure you guys go subscribe. This video right here made me a little angry. I had to share it with you guys. Let's go give Ash all our support. Check out these clips, and I'll see you guys in this comment section. Thank you. Good. Good chat. Good Wait. chat. Yeah. What for? Um, we've had a call from the Nightingale Hospital. If you find no problem with your filming, just let you know we wear body warmers as likewise, okay? Yeah, but I'm on that. public, and I'm, I'm just taking I'm some photos. Not. I'm not saying you're not on public property at the moment. That's not what I've said, is it? I've just been asked, just wondering what the nature of your visit was. You've been down at the Nightingale Hospital before here, is that right? And they've I, asked you to stop I'm just taking some... Property. No, I'm not. I went on their property. But they've said otherwise. Mm. Right. Have you got any identification, you say? Do I need to identify myself? Well, I'm just asking for your details, I mean, just so I can establish who it is. Do I need to say. identify myself? I'm asking you for it to do it, because at the moment, I'm just trying to work out what, if anything's going on I've here, not committed a crime. Or not there's any offences that are taking place. I've not committed no crime. If you've been filming on another premises, when they've asked you not to... I have not been on their premises at all. They say, obviously, we weren't there. They say otherwise. So at the moment, we're just trying to bottom out. I don't see there's anything wrong with that. Yeah, I know. Obviously, I've not been on their, I've not been on their property. Okay, but at the moment, they say otherwise. Can you show us the footage which would obviously prove or disprove that? Because your camera would be able to tell if you were or weren't. Yeah, I can prove that. Yeah? Yeah. Do, do you mind showing us the footage then? Really? Okay. From what I can gather, after you've left, there was some words that were exchanged and you've shouted some abusive comments back towards the staff. No that, abusive comments. I, I was saying, not uh, shouting at them. They shouted some comments. That can be classed what we call antisocial behaviour. So under Section 50, the British Reform Act 2002, we have a power then to request the name and address of an individual that we suspect of being involved in it. That's the legislation. You're obviously more than welcome to have a look what's, at that one. What's the word? Oh, well, I know that um, legislation, actually. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so you will know that that's correct and you know that then it becomes an offence for you not to give it to an officer. I have not acted in any antisocial manner. But that's the allegation. I know that's, that's the allegation. So, have you got some identification on you that... I do not need to identify address? myself. I've, I've not committed I've a crime. I've just quoted to you the legislation that goes with it. Because if you are shouting and abusive towards a member of the public or a member of staff at the, at the time... I was not shouting. I was not shouting. I was not shouting. It's just an allegation. It's just, uh, it's an allegation. I know it's an allegation. I was not shouting. But that's the allegation made, so we need to identify who you are. No, you don't. I've not committed... Have I committed a crime? What crime? Do you suspect me of committing? Have you already explained? Well, it, it could be a public behavior, order offence, couldn't it? Public order? So if you've yeah. been shouting and swearing down there? I have not been swearing and I have not been shouting. Well, that's the allegation that's been made. That's I've your asked side you if you can story. prove it on the camera and you're not willing to do that. So I've asked you to try and meet us halfway and you don't seem prepared or wanting or willing to engage with that. So it's a perfectly civil question that I'm asking. I don't think I'm asking the world. Am I being entertained? I'm trying to figure out her Am I being detained? Being argumentative at the moment. I'm not being argumentative. I'm trying to get well, to the I'm bottom of if I'm being detained. At the moment, if we suspect there's an offence, then potentially yes. I've not been shouting, sir. But I don't know. You're that. Are falsely accusing me. I'm not falsely accusing not you. Falsely. I'm not accusing we work you on anything. allegations. That's what yeah. police work on. Sir, Section am I being detained? Section allows officers to arrest. We arrest on suspicion of an offence. We're not proving anyone guilty. I'm not arresting you. I'm just saying at the moment there's an allegation of an offence. So am I being detained? Powers under. A, Am I being detained? Sir, I'm trying to explain that you keep Am talking I being across, detained? Sir, you keep talking across me. Sir, am I being detained? Ask a question. At the moment, if we suspect an offence, then possibly, because if I can't work out who you are, then I can't deal with it in any other way. Because I, I don't have know not committed an offence, sir. With all due respect, sir, if everyone that I spoke to told me I didn't commit an offence and I left it there and there was nothing anymore, the police would never achieve anything, would we? No, I'm fully aware. Yeah. That so what... obviously, you know that we're duty bound to investigate any allegations. And if yes. you were to report a crime to us, you would want us to investigate it and you would expect us to take all reasonable steps. Is that fair? Sir, I would like to go home. I think at the moment you're just trying to be deliberately confrontational, trying to provoke a response, which is all very unnecessary, isn't it? No, sir. Why is it not? I've explained, you've asked for legislation, you say you've moved up in the laws. So you, if you, that's correct, you'll know that legislation, you'll know that that is a true and accurate thing, isn't it? I haven't made it up. You're more than welcome to look Am up. I being detained? We're trying to work out an offence, and at the moment you're making it very difficult. Have I committed a crime? I just want to bear with me, I'll give him a quick call, find exactly what's happening, and we'll work out from there. Right, I'm going to go, sir. At the time there. Am I being detained? Right. Sir, we're trying to talk to you, trying to be as sensible as possible. You're making it very, very difficult, and if you want to, that's absolutely fine, but it just means that this process is going to take that little bit longer, isn't it? So you're going to have to bear with us. I am not making it any harder, sir. I've got to get going, sir. Oh, you're going to be late this rate, aren't you? Because we need to get your details. Have I committed a crime? Well, we don't know yet. That's what my colleague's on the phone for. My colleague's going to speak to the person that's called us, and then we'll know, won't we? All right? Do you understand? Understand what, sir? 
the reason why we've been called and there's been an allegation made against you. There is an allegation. So you say, allegation. so that's what you're saying. There's an allegation that's been made of what? swearing and shouting. Me in the street swearing and shouting? Yeah. I've not been swearing and shouting, sir. That's what, that's what most people say when we go and speak to them, isn't it? If we went, like my colleague said, if we went by everyone that said that, we wouldn't get very far, which is why we have to investigate it. Which is why we need your details so that we can contact you if we need to. So if you give us your details, we can contact you if we need to. The likelihood is, we probably won't. Once my colleague's spoken to the other people, we know what's going on. Sir, I've just spoken to the gentleman and he's given us a call and he's saying that once you've left the site after being a bit confrontational with him, you've used words to the effect of, you fat cunt. No, and sir. Him, and that's what you show back. No, that sir. It's a public order offence. I have not, sir. That would be classed as a public order offence, okay? That's recorded that, crime. I have no way, sir. That, so we need to work out whether or not we need to, what we need to be doing with this. That's the allegations we made. I don't know. I wasn't there. It's my job to investigate. I'm not it. there now. Like and I, I'm, I'm on my way, sir. Right, okay, but I need to work out your details now because I'm going to have to record that as a crime. That's what we call a section 5 public I order I have offense. not committed. And at the moment, let me just finish. Let me just any offence, sir? Sir. We suspect the offence has taken place, which will be a section 5 public order offence, okay? With that, I then have to investigate the crime as I would do any other. Part of that is when an identified suspect comes to our attention, and you say match the description of the offender that was passed to us in that incident, I then have to record just with details. If you are refusing to provide it under the PACE section 24 in code G, you are giving me a necessity for arrest to ascertain your name, to ascertain your address. If I cannot do that today, I will have no other option then but to potentially have to arrest you for that offence, which I don't want so to do. So you're threatening me no, with arrest? No, I'm not arrest. threatening you. I'm so are you threatening offenses. with arrest, no, sir? No, So are you I'm saying, are you, you. going to arrest me? No, I said potentially, because I don't want to, because it is a relatively low level offence for which I can so deal with. So you will be arresting me, another... sir? Is that what you're going to be saying? Sir, you're talking across me again. Are you... I'm listening to you, please give me the same courtesy and listen to what I'm saying. You're not honouring your oath, are you? Yes, yes, yes we are. If you do not provide me with your details, I cannot ascertain who you are, so then I would have no lines of investigation and I would not be doing my duty. I wouldn't be doing the service to the public that we present and who we safeguard, all right? If I can't get those details, it is quite possible that you will be arrested because I have no other way of progressing that crime complaint. If you reported to me that someone damaged your house... Or so is that like what that, you're saying? And I let the you're threatening, on, you're threatening, so you're no, making sir, threats I'm to not, arrest me. It's not, not a threat. It's not a threat. So you it, will be arresting it's me. It's not a threat. I've explained to you it's a possibility at this time. If you don't give us your name and address, 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 I'm not an option we have, yes. I'm not obliged, am I? What yeah. crime have I committed, sir? Section 5 I've public order. You. I, I, have I, though? Yes. That's the allegation. What do we arrest on? Have, have I committed suspicion? a crime? Have I? Am I about to commit a crime? Or have offense. I committed a crime? We arrest on suspicion of an offence. You do not. Yes, we do. For the purposes of just moving this along, that is my warrant card. It says police officer. Okay? Satisfied? Police constable is my title. I hold the office of constable. That is neither here nor there, and I think you're just being obstructive. I've said to you, I don't want to arrest you. I want to deal with this sensibly and proportionately. However, I will, if I have to, because I cannot possibly progress this any further if I don't know who you are. All you'd have to do is give me your details and I can work it out from there and I can do slow time inquiries if need be, or we can bottom this out here and now. So it's 12.43, I'm arresting your suspicion section. Can I help you? Yeah, we are open. I didn't know whether you wanted to come in or anything. Well, we've been mm, open for about, well, we've been open all the whole time. Do you know much more about this place? Yeah, cool. I'm working. I know. I know. It opened in April 2020. Uh, yeah, opened in April. And uh, Hernandez, is it the police and crime commissioner? Yes. Yeah. Uh, how many cells? 43 cells in here. I don't know. I don't know how many cells there are, but there's quite a few. There's a whole, the whole, the whole station is brand new. Brand new. Hey, it looks great. It does. It, it looks is. amazing. It's it's Do you know how many cameras you have here? Sorry. Do you know how many CCTV cameras? No idea. Do you, do you want to come in? Well, you can bring out a coffee. No, 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 unfortunately. A whiskey? No, no. no we don't have any alcohol in the Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, have you got any drugs? Well, I'm sure I, I hear you could keep a lot of drugs at the police station. Would you like to come in and have a look? Come in. Then. Sorry? What are you up to? Can I help you? I work, I work in the police station here. I see you wandering around. What's the thing you've been in? 
reason. Do I need a reason? Do I need a reason? Just this is my police station, not your police station. You're just an employee at this police station. Oh, all right. Okay. Good afternoon. I help you. So what are you up to? Well, I'm just walking around in public. What are you doing? Well, I'm on, I'm at work. Well, that's nice. So what are you filming? Are you doing a study or something? Or a little project? No, just filming for my own purposes. Oh, right, okay. So what are you, um, what's your interests in filming? I just like police stations. Oh, do you? Yeah. Yeah, quite a lot of people like that. Yeah. And police cars, you know. If you can give us a tour around your police car, that would be nice. Is that what you like? You know, yeah, that would be nice. Okay. Well, you can come. It's not a very good one. Can I come and have a look? Uh, yeah, yeah, I can come and have a look. So what's your name? Oh, well, yeah, I'm not, um, I'm not going to give you my details. Oh, it's nice to just know your first name. Oh, you can call me sir. Sir? Alright, sir. Come and have a look then. Yeah, I mean, my videos are good quality. Can I have a look at seeing what you can see? Yeah, sure. Well, you, you can have a look. You're just filming in public. you got your body cam on. I know. You're filming me, I'm filming you. Right, what's going on now about police cars then? Uh, I just want to have a look around your police car. Okay, well. This is a standard response car, right? In here, the only interesting thing that you'll see, do you want to look? That's the only thing. Let's have a little look. Here you go. There you go. Nice. How very That's blue. Exciting. Very exciting. Have you got any dogs? No, I haven't got a dog. Dogs, um... And then in the back, we have stuff here to help us. If we end up going to places, cones to put out. So, do you, ever, do you arrest many criminals? Do I arrest very many criminals? Yeah. Ooh, some suspects. Do you consider me to be a criminal? Well, I don't know. I don't know who you are, do I? How are you? No, I'm not no criminal. No? No. So what's that entrance there to? That's the entrance to the police station. The police station? Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. And who lives here? Who lives here? Well, no one lives here. Hernandez, her name is, isn't it? Pardon? Who's the police and crime commissioner, Hernandez? Yeah, that's the one. She doesn't live here, though. She might work here. And she said the reason for that police station is open to fight 21st century crime. Probably. I noticed when it opened in April 2020, within a minute, less than a minute, you arrested your first detainee and brought him into custody on suspicion of burglary. Really? Yeah. I wasn't working that day. Do you know how many souls they got in that police station? Uh, yes, I do. How many? Well, you probably know more than me. 43? No, I don't know if it's 43. Is it over four wings? Ah. What I did do is get called up here because you'd been stood outside the police station for quite a few hours filming. A few hours? People have been engaging with you. I, I've not been here for a few hours. Okay, well, maybe it was less than a few hours. I don't really know. This female officer was nice and mild-mannered, uh, totally different from the first clip. Make sure you guys go subscribe to Ash and let him know San Joaquin sent you. I will see you guys in his comment section. He's a really good channel. He's fairly new, but he's doing solid work. I'll see you guys over there. Thank you.